Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Busi. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope that you guys are doing super, super, super well. Today's video is part two of my beginner's makeup series here on my channel. And today's focus is going to be on our base. And it's an in-depth foundation slash base tutorial. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my tips and tricks on how to achieve a beautiful flawless base. I will be taking you guys through my skin prep foundation application as well as highlighting and contouring so if you guys want to see how i achieve a beautiful flawless base then keep on watching also you guys i would really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to my channel it's absolutely free so you might as well subscribe also tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their cousin and their friends and their friends that i'm on youtube heck tell the president that i'm on youtube because it's banging here so without wasting any more time let's get right into this video so um, in order for your makeup to be flawless, you need to prep your skin really good. And before you prep your skin, you really need to understand the kind of skin that you have. So there's oily skin, dry skin, and combination skin. And you want to use products that will help keep the hydration on your skin because you don't want to look cakey and dead and flaky and whatnot. So um, I have oily skin so this particular routine is for oily skin but um, just make sure that you do the research and you understand your skin type so that you can do uh, so you can prepare your skin using the right products so I have a clean face and I'm just gonna go in with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost gel uh, this is gonna help bring hydration into my skin and I'm just gonna apply that all over my face so as much as I'm oily um, I still want to be hydrated and there's a difference between oily skin and um, dehydrated skin oily skin is, is a result of the overproduction of sebum in uh, the sebaceous gland which is underneath your skin and the sebum is uh, fatty material that um, the gland produces and dehydrated skin is um, is when your skin lacks moisture basically so those are two different things you need to understand in order for you to prep your skin okay next up I'm gonna go in with a moisturizer and I am using the Johnson & Johnson even day complexion cream it also has SPF so that's really good for your skin and if you are oil if you are dry you probably want to go in with um like dewy or hydrating moisturizers and things like that okay so the next step in my makeup routine is to prime i don't necessarily always prime but for the sake of this video i'm going to prime and i'm going to be using the maybelline baby skin um instant pore eraser so if you have oily skin you want to go for a mattifying primer and if you have um dry skin you want to reach out for a dewy or luminous primer so i'm going to be using this which is also mattifying and i'm just going to apply that in all the areas of my skin where i tend to oil quite a lot which is my nose definitely and my t-zone this primer because it's also a a blurring primer so it minimizes the, the appearance of my pores so really love this okay next up i'm going to color correct and to color correct i'm going to be going in with the la girl contour cream concealer and i'm just so I have dark marks under my eyes and because today I'm like giving you an in-depth uh, tutorial, I'm also going to color correct. I don't always do this, but this will also help with the application of your foundation as well. It's going to make it look all flawless and very pretty. So 
I'm just gonna go in. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Mm -hmm. This is in the shade Deep Spice. And this is a mattifying foundation. So, I have oily skin. I'm going for a mattifying foundation. And if you have oily skin or combination skin, depending on the finish that you want, can definitely go for a more dewy or luminous um, foundation. So, a couple of things. To take note of when choosing your foundation um you need to know your undertone um there are three undertones you have um sorry i'm just trying to apply my foundation as well so you have warm cool and neutral and um how you determine your undertone is in natural lighting if you look at your veins the color of your veins in um in natural lighting if your veins are a blue cool purple color then you most probably have a cool undertone and if your veins are okay and if your veins look green then you probably have um, a warm undertone and if you can't determine the color of your veins then you are most likely to have a neutral undertone and um, the next thing that you need to um, consider when buying a foundation when shopping for a foundation is the properties uh, so is it a full coverage um, foundation is that the kind of look that you're going for is it a mattifying foundation or is it dewy because you need to know and work with something that will complement your skin type rather than work against you and another thing is when shopping for foundation um, unless you've used that particular brand and the shade of foundation um, I would advise not to buy your foundation online I would I would advise that you actually go in store and pick three different shades that are closest to your skin tone swatch them on your on your cheek and um, give them like an hour or two to settle into your skin and then in natural lighting not inside the store or anything like that in natural lighting have a look and pick the foundation that's closest to your skin tone that way you don't set yourself up for failure because the lighting in these department stores is just wonky it's made it's it will make you look good in store but the moment you leave home and you're wearing this in natural lighting you're going to see that the shade is not the right shade match for you so keep that into uh, keep that in mind when shopping for foundations as well So my foundation is on we're gonna now move on to highlighting and contouring and to highlight you need a concealer that's a shade or two lighter than your actual skin tone but highlighting does is it brings forward the features that you want to um, that you want to highlight so uh, there would be the bridge of my nose and under my eye
and I'm using the Maybelline Instant H Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. I am in the shade Deep Bronze. Just gonna reverse contour just a little bit. I'm gonna let that dry down. And while that dries down, I'm gonna go in with my contour shade. And I'm using the Revlon Color Stay. I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Foundation Stick. This is in the shade Java. And um, so now I'm contouring, I'm cream contouring. And what contouring does is it sculpts your face. So it's going to make you look all kinds of snatched, honey. And here we go. you want to set your foundation and I'm going in with the Yardley London translucent powder and I just want my sponge a bit damp once again and you're just gonna set all the into the LA Girl Pro Contour Powder. This is in the shade Deep. So I'm just going to grab a Real Techniques brush like that and set my contour. I'm going to be going in with my Morphe 35R palette and I'm just going to lightly set my nose contour like so.
so that is it for the base i'm just gonna go off camera do my eyes and my brows and then i'll come back and we'll finish off this video so i'll be right back okay so you guys i've done my brows and my eyes off camera because that's not the focus of today's video i'm just gonna finish off the rest of the face and yeah so i'm gonna be going in I'm going to be going in with Love Bang by MAC and I'm just going to grab a brush and just pop that on my cheeks like that. Ooh, this hair is in my way. Ooh. Ooh. I jamming. E3 The Dive Nation Are the Kinkies Cry <laughs> Ooh guys Sorry guys That audition That idol's audition Killed me C3 Shout out to you man Shout out To you The Dive Nation all the king is cry the man pause i don't know the song but it's left a short dub slap okay so <laughs> what is happening here okay so for highlighter i will be going in with the wet <laughs> For highlighter today, I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. This is in Precious Pearls. And I'm just going to grab a brush and just pop that on. Give ourselves a glow. You know, even though we're oily, we still want that glow. Like, we still want a glow. It's for the glow, it's glowy, you know? So... Let's go right in. Ooh, child. Are you saying you need a highlight? <laughs> okay. Let's just pretend we did today. I'm not okay. Because, wow. Le highlight. You're on another level. Nose. Kundwing. It's an exclamation mark. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh I say it a highlighter and it's so pretty. Pretty pretty pretty. Look at that. Hey, English nose. John that we are within. Within within within. Oh my cupid's bow. I always forget my cupid's bow. See how glowish go like we are just doing the things. Bravo. O'Connor. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Okay, I need to blend that out because, wow. Mega Glow is doing the things like mega, mega things. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. This is what happens when I drink Coke. I um, just had a glass of Coke, and let's just say. It's over for me once I drink coke because I don't know what it does to me. It just does the things. Okay, so I'm just trying to think. I'm gonna, set, I'm gonna go with, with setting spray. I'm gonna grab my W Beauty setting spray. This retails for 150 at Woolworths, and we are just gonna.
we want whew, everything must just be set in place. So over for me it's not even funny how over it is for me please don't pay attention to me there's something wrong with me probably need to take my meds Okay, my hair's wet now. Okay, you guys, so we've come to the end of today's video, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and that you found the tips and tricks that I shared with you guys useful and that it will help you with your makeup application. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what you think and what other looks you'd like for me to create for you guys. And um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, keep a lookout for my next video. We're going to be focusing on eyes. So we're going to be doing eyebrows, eyeshadow, to, uh, eyeshadow blending, as well as eyelash application. So um, thank you guys for watching and keep safe. And I will see you guys in my next video.